My first impressions video is going to be on this colourless hair colour remover. If you want to see how it turns out, then please keep watching. Hi guys, it's Leah. Welcome to my channel. I hope everybody is feeling very, very well. So today I'm going to do a first impressions video using this colourless hair colour remover. So I don't know about you guys, but at night time when I'm supposed to be sleeping, I either get my best ideas or my worst ideas. This idea was to colour remove what's in my hair, bleach, bleach back the ends and see what we get. So I thought, first of all, let's get rid of whatever's built up on my hair. So I have a lot of gray mutage coming through. Then have a section of brown hair which falls into black. And then my ends are a, almost supposed to be like a caramel kind of color, but my hair is pulling a lot a lot of warmth so I just want to kind of tone that down so the plan is that I'm going to strip this out my natural hair color root on there which is like a almost black color these are my natural eyebrow colors so you can tell my hair is quite dark so and then I'm going to bleach from here to here to lift this section up a little bit I'll pull that rootage down just a bit and then the ends depending on what colour this lifts to. I'm hoping I'm just going to get away with just doing a bleach bath on the ends. But I think step one for now, let's do the colour removing thing and see what I'm left with. I will check back in with you once I have put the stuff on my hair. Um, I'll dry my hair and then I'll show you what, if anything, this set hair remover did. So there's a picture of what it's supposed to do somewhere did i not see oh yeah there okay so it goes from black to here this is supposed to be max strength and it's supposed to be perfect for removing black brown red and build up so i've got everything like that in my hair at the moment oh i'm a bit nervous so fingers crossed this turns out well <laughs> we'll soon find out Okay, so I'll check in back with you once I've used this and once I've dried my hair, see what difference, if any, that colour remover does actually do. I put the mixture on my hair. The instructions say to leave it 45 minutes, wrapped up in cling film, which I've done. So just before I wash it out, I wanted to show you, you know, what I'm left with. It's quite orange, which I expected due to the fact there is bleach on there. So I am now going to wash this out and when it's dry, I'll come back and show you the final result. Bottoms lifted better than I actually thought they would. So I'm hoping I will just get away with the bleach bath on this much of my hair, but I do think I'll have to re-bleach this bit here. Hopefully I'll be back with a full head of hair. <laughs> so I'm back. This is 24 hours later. Um, initially, I was so very happy with this. It seemed to lift the bottom area very well actually i was very very pleased with it however 24 hours later i feel like it's oxidized more or less back to the color i started off with it has got a little bit lighter i do agree but not to the extent that i thought it would this bit here has definitely re-oxidized it's virtually gone back to black again so i'm not kind of really happy with the results that i thought i was going to get with this I'm not expecting miracles, obviously, but yeah, I did expect a little bit better than what it is showing. So, I mean, I didn't even put any like products in my hair, hence why it's looking a little bit dry because I didn't want there to be any reason for it to re-oxidize because I know these color remover things can, if you put something on, for instance, if it may have silicone in it, which a lot of conditioners do to grip onto the hair, so I did nothing. I followed the instructions to the T. It held on to its colour that it removed maybe a couple of hours, but I could see that it was starting to slowly, slowly return back to this um, normal colour that I started off with. 
I mean, there are a few places where it's kind of stayed, but when I woke up this morning, I thought, no, I'm not really happy with that. Let's try again with a different one. So I thought this video would kind of end here, but I brought this one instead. Thought I'd give this a go and record my experience of whether this one's any good. Um, I will not probably try this one again. I did do everything that I should have done. Um, so I'm not quite sure why this didn't hold the colour. It's bloody, the stuff bloody stinks. Oh my God. It smells like really bad egg. If you've never used this before, be prepared. It, it, they smell, not just that one, but they all smell. It's like a, a sulfur smell. It's not very nice. It's not pleasant. I don't think it's in my hair, but ooh, it does smell. I'm going to try this and I'm going to do exactly the same. So you know what I'm starting off with. I will follow these instructions um, to the letter. I will not put anything on my hair at the end of it again. And I'll come back and show you if I've got any difference from this. Bye for now. So I am back just to give you my final thoughts and review on the Scott Cornwell Decolor. It's a hair colour remover, super strength formula. I actually really like this. What sets us apart from the rest is you get a sachet of um, clarifying shampoo that you put on before you put the actual treatment on. Then once you put the treatment on, you're not standing rinsing for 15, 20 minutes, you're just a couple of rinses for like five minutes in total and then afterwards you also get sort of like a conditioner to pop on um, it does give you the choice that you could leave it on for one minute and rinse off or for half an hour which is what I did I didn't feel like my hair was damaged or the integrity of my hair I feel like this one is so much better. I feel like I got better results with this one. This one is slightly more expensive, but if you're gonna get the results the first time round, this is the one I would go for in the future. So let me just quickly show you my hair. So as you can remember from the last color remover, the colorless one that I tried, um, I feel like at first I got really good results, but 24 hours later, I felt like my hair had literally gone back and oxidized to its original color. This is 24 hours. I really lightened up my hair a lot. So I can see some of my blonde hair peeking back through again. It's definitely got rid of um, a lot of the black. It's now like a deep brown. So I'm sure... I mean, I can see the difference. I'm sure hopefully you can. Um, I just feel like it did a, such, such a better job. I also wanted to say as well that um, like the colourless um, one that I tried, I could st still smell the um, stuff in my hair. There was just a slight smell that I could still smell that eggy stuff in my hair, which is not pleasant. This one... There's no smell, so I didn't put anything on my hair. Like, you can't recolor it and, and do bleaching or anything like that for the same round about seven days, which is fine. I don't mind looking like this for seven days. Plus, it would give my hair a chance just to fix itself if there is any damage. I don't feel like there is any damage. It's still shiny. It's still healthy. It's not falling out. So, I'm really happy with the result, especially the fact that my hair does not stink. <laughs> So all in all, I would conclude that if you're going to strip your hair, I would go for this one. Now, just be wary that there's two types of this. This is the colour remover. So if you have a buildup of colour products on your hair, I would suggest using the colour one. But there is also a different one that is for literally stripping out your hair. And it's a, a blue box. I don't know too much details on it because I've never used it before. But it does give you a description of why you should use the different ones. So just be aware of that. They do do different things. Um, but I really enjoyed using this. There was lots of helpful instructions to use on this. I found like the other one was very basic. I like the packaging on this. Everything was easy to use. And like I say, I wasn't breaking my back over the sink, rinsing this stuff out for like five, 10 minutes at a time, which the other ones you do do. 
So I conclude that if I strip my hair again, I would definitely reach for that one over any of the other ones that I've even tried before because I feel it does do a better job and better results. Okay, so that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope it made sense. Any questions you do want to ask, please comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I better throw in a disclaimer. I am not a hairdresser. I know nothing about hair. I just wanted to try these products because I wanted to strip the colour out of my hair to moving forward into actually bleaching my hair. So I wanted to try and get some sort of base colour in before I start shoving bleach on. So please be aware that just watch the video and use it at your own risk. Okay, so that's it for now. If you haven't already checked out that giveaway, if time's running out, please make sure you do so. I'll leave the link down below. I'll leave the links also for the two colour removers that I use. I got them both from Amazon. So I'll leave the links down below in case you do want to try them out. And that's it for now. Please, please take care of yourselves and each other and I'll speak to you real soon. Take care. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.